Hi everybody, it is Sunday the, let's have a look, 6th of January, it's coming up for, um, well it's just gone 10 to 1 in the afternoon, so we've gone and done the food shopping, we've just had lunch, I've just got the iron heating up, because you know, back to the normal grind, not quite as bad, excuse me, I've not got the kids um, uniform to do yet, because I did it all, you know, when the holidays started so everything's ironed and away ready for them starting back tomorrow uh, i just need to do pole shirts and stuff some of my jumpers i've worn through the week so i'm going to get on with that hopefully it won't take me too long but i wanted to pop on here um just to show you that the egg i was working on yesterday is finished so it's got my little caterpillar inside it um i'll take it out so the caterpillar comes out and is all ready to um, grow wings so I'll pop her back in so this worked up quite quick really so I started it yesterday and then had to restart it because I'd missed it all um, so yeah it's cool like bobble stitch so you, you work it in the round but you turn at the end of every round so you do your bobble stitches on like the inside it's it's a very good pattern all of the Lally Lala patterns are interesting and you know they always seem to have interesting techniques in them. So let me find the page for you. Egg, there we go. So there's the egg pattern and that's in the Beatles Bugs and Butterflies book. Um, and it's lovely, it's got a story in the front. I've, I'm, I spoke about it when I first got it but there's like, um, you can see I think up to here like coloured pages so sort of that much of the book is story using all of the her, um, her makes and telling the story of the, the Beatles and everything it's very sweet um, apart from um, a snail no a fly gets eaten by a Venus flytrap the peril the peril um, so yeah that's that one done so I can put this back in my pile and say I've made an I'd already made the the sort of butterfly or larva or caterpillar I should say um, but now it's got an egg to go in Paul thinks it's very weird he's like wow <laughs> it's an egg of course it is um, so yeah this one will go back up in the shelf so I will have to pick something out of another book today to work on I've been working on the blanket uh, the modern granny blanket today just this morning when I finished uh, the, the egg up so I'll pick something or get one of the boys to pick something out of the other book one of the other books and we'll go from there and um, see what we're doing um, I'm going to do the ironing and I think we're going for a walk somewhere and I've got to nip and buy a toilet roll because that's exciting and foil because we forgot foil at shopping and we were meant to stop off at another shop and get a toilet roll and we forgot so that's my fun day but yeah we might go to Oweston Castle for a walk so I might get some footage but I've taken you there before um, but we shall see so I better stop waffling and go and do the ironing and I will let you know what we get up to later. Bye guys. Hiya, just checking in. It's just gone two o'clock in the afternoon and we are about to head out to Home Bargains, to fetch toilet roll, excitement, and then to Elston Castle for a wander around. So there may be some footage of us walking around, may not, we'll just see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's our afternoon plans. See you in a bit. Hi everyone. Um, I'm checking in, it's five to five, uh, I have done no crochet since I saw you, so I, I crocheted a bit this morning, that was it. Um, we went to buy a toilet roll, because it was fun, um, and we went to Overton Castle, and I had probably about three quarters of an hour walk, and then the boys went and played in the play area for ten minutes or so. <coughs> Excuse me, um, uh, we've come home and been up in the loft to get some of Tobin's old clothes down for Jack because he's still wearing um, like just grown out of age three to four trousers in his six um, but it appears there are no four to five trousers there's just a big gap so we've got five to six is that fitting uh, some of them like the chino type trousers will probably need rolling up um, at the bottom and the five to six joggers fitting fine so um, we've sorted that out so I've got two bags to go to um, 
either charity or there's a lady at school that I sometimes um, catch. She's got little is, and I sort of say, "Is this any good to you?" Because um, it's all in it's all in good nick. They don't tend to go through their clothes, considering they wear them for a long time, because um, they don't really grow. Um, they seem to be quite kind on them. So I will um, see if I can catch her tomorrow. A couple of bags have gone upstairs that Tobin's grown out of, and they're way too big for Jack yet. Um, so I've got all the five to six and six to seven stuff down. So I've got a wash going now with a load of hoodies that Jack complains smell like the loft, so they need washing first. Um, and yeah, there's a bag of pajamas that are like five to six, and they're all massive. Um, so they've gone back in Jack's wardrobe for when he's a bit bigger, so I've taken him back up in the loft. Uh, yeah. So that's been our afternoon really and I've just showered the kids and dried them and everything so it's I haven't really got time to do anything else. So I'm going to sort the chicken out and um, yeah, generally if you can hear that and the wash has just kicked in running water, so the air fryer is going behind me, uh, I can see it just there. Um, so I'm going to get on with the tea and then get this video on the computer get it loading, I'm taking the kids to bed tonight so it's going to be a bit of a non-stop afternoon really and then I will, I don't know if I'll, I'm agree me if I'll pick one or not I might do, um, see if I get time with the kids later to get them to pick something <coughs> excuse me, I might have to wait till tomorrow and we'll see where we go um, but yeah, I quite enjoyed making that egg and it was nice to say I've made something out of that book now I did get a few suggestions of what I could make so thank you for that mm -hmm. I did get a message about about a possible spoiler alert and a parcel that's coming to me. Thank you. I need to go back on comments. It's just I haven't really, I haven't sat still today. Um, and those nice relaxing Sundays. When do they happen? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave it here and get on with the tea. Um, I hope you've had a lovely weekend, whatever you've got up to. Um, I watched one of Z's videos earlier when she was looking for Bag Barn and she said hello to me. Say hello, Z. And, and to the boys, Mwah. oh how big Tink look! she looks such a proper beautiful young lady, oh, I love her, um, yeah she's like, oh, like say hello to your fans, no, she's so shy bless her, so hello Tink, um, I hope you're okay, um, yeah I'm gonna go and stop waffling at you, so uh, I'll be back tomorrow let you know if I decided on anything amigurumi wise or if I just chilled with the blanket I've very nearly finished the second cake of the curiosity so get in there I will love you and leave you and uh, see you all tomorrow bye guys